want to give a big thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. Go to amaze.com slash rainfall to check out how you can enter for a chance to win an incredible custom Ford Bronco, all while donating to a great charity. Spray booms used to be 10 foot wider on each side, but the end pieces are falling apart. They've been taking a lot of damage, bouncing across the rough fields, and I decided it's finally time to jump in and rebuild them. I can't fix them anymore. These are the original boom extensions here. This is the crack right here, and it's been patched up quite a few times, and I think it's just time to, to build some new ones. They have a spring-loaded breakaway mechanism, which I think I test out a little too much with power poles and stuff. Try not to too often, but I need to reincorporate that into the design. And I'm gonna stick with the overall general shape of these, but I think there's a couple things I can do to make them a little bit lighter. These are uh, two pieces that are bolted together, and I think I'm gonna make it just one solid piece so I can get rid of all this weight in the middle and get rid of this cable, which isn't really doing much, I don't think. I'm gonna start by getting these stripped down. I've got a notch of the tubing to fit the round bar, and I think I'm just gonna do it with the handheld plasma cutter. It's good to make sure I still know how to use that thing every once in a while. The wood blocks are just spacers I cut to accurately space apart the two bars. I'll remove them once I get it welded. And I think I'm just gonna give everything a big tap, and then once the whole boom section's built, weld it all together solid. Next I need to fire up the CNC table and cut out some parts for the booms. But before I do that, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Amaze. Amaze is a company that supports a ton of great charities by giving away custom, one-off, incredible cars. Right now, if you make a donation, you're in it for a chance to win a Bronco. But this just isn't any Bronco. This Bronco's been stretched to allow for two more doors and a third row seating. It has a 460 horsepower engine, 10-speed automatic transmission, 18-inch billet aluminum wheels, and 35-inch tires. I really think this is something I should have for the farm. Drake could look pretty badass in the passenger seat over there. And on top of all this, they're throwing in an additional 20 grand to go along with it. And here's the really cool part. Every donation supports the Kevin Love Fund. Kevin Love is a professional basketball player for the Cleveland Cavaliers, who is a huge advocate of mental health awareness and launched a charity to set up a social emotional learning program in schools nationwide at no cost. So it's a win-win. You help support the Kevin Love Fund, you're entered for a chance to win the Bronco. Go to amaze.com slash rainfall to check out how this all works. It's a great cause and it's an amazing truck. You really gotta check it out. All right, let's get the CNC table going.
Time for the top bar. I'm going to cut out the spring loader mechanism and reuse it. And I think I'm going to cut out the top and bottom of the hinge too. And um, they're still in pretty good shape and I can just transfer them right over. Got all the pieces cut and cleaned up and ready to weld on. I think I gotta clamp the boom onto the, onto the sprayer and in place and then I can weld these on kind of accurately where they need to go so it folds up straight. If I try to guess where they go, I think I'd get it wrong. I think I'm going about this wrong. I should have welded the plate under the hinge and then attached the boom to the plate. As it is, I'm having trouble getting everything lined up. So I think I'm gonna hack, I'm gonna cut the plate off, weld it on there, and uh, go that route. At least it's only tacked. I think that'll work. I wanted to test folding it, but I realized I'd have the boom stuck inside the door here. Gotta take it apart.
The last thing I wanted to do was build a little guard around the last nozzle because if you dip your boom just a little too low, the first thing to hit is the nozzle and I've broken quite a few of those off. So it's going to be good having this here so at least that's going to hit first before anything else. But I think that was the last thing I had to do to weld on these on the booms. So I'm going to take them up to our farm shop and get them cleaned up and ready for some paint. Paint's dry, so I can start putting back on the nozzles now. The last thing I needed to do on this project was to build a bracket that holds the boom when it's folded up. I milled it out of UHMW, which I think is nice because it doesn't wear metal on metal. It's nice and soft when it's holding it. Alright, I think this thing's ready to go. And one last time, I really want to encourage you to check out amaze.com slash rainfall to see how you can help support the Kevin Love Fund and enter for a chance to win the custom Gateway Bronco.